I'm a bunch of things. I'm the girl who checks the boxes all over the census. Soledad likes people a lot. She's very much committed to giving voice to, to the voiceless, to people that don't get heard a lot. She's one of the few people we have right now on television who really talking about diversity. She's Latina, she's black, she's Irish, she's a mother, she's an accomplished journalist. We are here at CNN today, New York City, and we are going to get to know the real Soledad O'Brien. Maria de la Soledad, Teresa O'Brien, is a true image of the American dream. My mom is black and Cuban, my dad is white and Australian, so we, you know, we didn't quite blend in with the community around us. But it was always very clear that, you know, once you leave here, there's this thing. That's going to be very different. We have so many stories to tell. It's a story of America. For the fifth of six children, all of whom earn degrees from Harvard, that thing has been a very successful career in journalism and the drive to help people in need. These are tears of joy again. First, I think that I, 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 get, um, I get the sense, like, I could go and tell that story well. Send me, because I know I could tell that story well. It sounds like a couple hundred. Yeah, like, it could be a very cool in America type right. story, I think. She's very involved in the production. She thinks that there are always very important things going on, very interesting stories that need to be told. What is the answer? For us, it's to, to stay here. As a CNN reporter, O'Brien has covered the headlines. Do you ever think about that? From the tsunami in Thailand and Hurricane Katrina to most recently the tragic earthquakes in Chile and Haiti. But then also I just get pissed off. I get mad. I mean, Katrina, we were, people were mad, not just the journalists, the people watching. And in Haiti, you get mad. Why is a two-year-old starving? We saw you in this documentary and you made us cry. We um, saw you holding the hand of this child and, and you broke down. What was going through your head when you were holding this child's hand and she started crying? She had the crying? oldest eyes. It was a two-year-old, two-year-old baby in the port crib kind of thing. And just look into her eyes. And the eyes of an 80-year-old. It was just so, like, had just seen it all. It broke my heart. It may be that sensibility or her mixed race heritage that has inspired this journalist to give a voice to the voiceless in our society. CNN will take an unprecedented look at the story of Latinos in America. We Through her documentaries Latino in America and Black in America, O'Brien has told the stories of a segment of the population often marginalized from the daily news. She is one of the champions really on, on national television at this point, really focused on the changing demographics in this country, diversity in our population, diversity of thought, diversity among ourselves, and that is really rare. That focus has won her numerous awards and recognition from the many groups that celebrate her success and consider her one of their own. African Americans claim you with pride. Hispanic Americans claim you with pride. How do you identify yourself? What defines you? I'm black, I'm Latina, I'm a working mother, I have four kids, but I am a journalist, I'm a wife, I'm a daughter, I'm a sister, I'm all these things. And you know what, they're not impossible in the same wrapping. For this busy mother of four children, the desire to make a difference doesn't stop in the newsroom. Together with her husband, Soledad O'Brien, has established a foundation that provides grants to needy students. I felt that I couldn't just go and report stories. I had to sort of be part of a, a solution in education. Um, there's no question, it is the great equalizer because the great thing about this nation is with education, you can change your circumstances. This summer, O'Brien will go back to Haiti, this time with her oldest daughter, Sophia, to volunteer in an orphanage. And I think she's gonna get a real eyeful of what the experience is like and how she's been given so much just by virtue of being in this country being born in America has positioned her in such an incredible way so ergo she then owes she owes it back to the world to be a, a citizen who is helpful to others <laughs>